All right, guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Back out here in the shop. Uh, yesterday, of course, we couldn't get out here. 60 degrees. Today, it's 34 right now. So, last piece here. Just going to give it a light scuff so the paint sticks. Cody, show them everything else that we got laid out. Get ready to finish up a blue paint on this thing tonight. Go ahead and show them what we got for the uh, go kart too. So as soon as we get this done, which will hopefully be this week, depends on if, how much time we get over the weekend. Because Justin goes back to work after surgery this weekend, so we'll have to see how much time we end up with. But the plan is to try and finish this bike this week get the electric start and stuff put on the um manco and then that's going to surgery we'll start redoing the motor mount i think we talked about just throwing it back together real quick and just uh ripping it up and down the road just to see what kind of problems we have because you don't want to we don't want to finish it only to find out that it's got a bad bearing somewhere or something so we've never ridden it we've never done anything with it so we're not 100 percent sure but it is getting the 224 um new clutch and chain showed up yesterday for it what am i missing justin with his new hairdo show him show him Got the mullet. <laughs> What's funny is I actually went to the barber shop Friday to get my hair cut. I was going to do the same thing because my hair was real long. But my barber shop went out of business. so Just shaved my head. I'm not going to show you all the time. Not as cool as his. So we're going to grab our paint. I think Justin's going to put another coat or two on the frame. I'm going to work on all these pieces, got the handlebars hanging, get some paint on those, and we should be done with blue tonight, hopefully. So we're going to get the spray. Ready? One, two, three, go. Remind me to watch out for these damn handlebars yeah. after I get paint on because I just ran right into them. By the way, Justin, you owe me a lift clean when we're done. Yeah, yeah. You see, we painted the underside of the rear fender. It's just going to get one coat probably. Just because we had primed it. it was, it's an aftermarket fender. So, just steel. Just want to get some paint on it. We're not going to paint the underside of the front fender. Just because it's factory plastic. I don't know about the blue and the black here, Justin. That wasn't good. Yeah, it's just gonna, it may be darker. So. Man, I love this color. 
curves and angles and And as always, guys, we got the fan going. That way we don't kill ourselves with the paint fumes, which unfortunately it's taking some of the heat out of the shop, which may cause us some issues with the paint, but we'll have to see. All right, so we got a coat on everything. We're going to let everything tack up. Probably close the door up for a few minutes, let the heat build back up. I need a cup, a drink of coffee. I'm eating paint. And uh, we'll be back. Hi right, guys, we're back. We uh, took a break after we got done coating everything. Justin's happy with the frame. Says it looks good to him. It actually dried in that time. Justin's taking a bed back to his other house. So we were loading that in a truck. You should have seen that. That was a fiasco. Took a queen size mattress. Made it look like a hot dog. Wrapped ratchet straps around it and fit it in the back of his trailblazer. The one you guys have seen on the channel. So, Justin actually has, show me what he's got. Crystal clear enamel. So this is good for metal, plastic. So he's gonna everything. start blowing some clear coat on the frame. I'm gonna put another coat or two of paint on all the parts. Most of them are looking good. So, we're gonna go. still see the outline of that sticker from that was on the original fender what that's had so many coats of paint on it and sanding and it's still there yeah this clear coat's really making it pop well, you, it's just the same as paint nice yep. smooth strokes
Oh. I wonder how high I am. Shade underscore tree underscore mechanics. I'm sure we'll end up putting another one up tonight because we need to. Yep. Just a little goofy crap we do here in the shop. Yeah, it's starting to look more like the frame now. Yeah. Put more paint on it. That's what I was hoping for. I'd be really mad if we had to come back and put primer on this. <laughs> I mean, we shouldn't have to because it's the factory uh, factory um, powder coat. Right. It's just the fact that we had a light neutral base underneath I was worried it would uh, make the paint black -er than the rest and this is only coat number two on all this stuff guys the frame itself has four yep. four. four coats of paint and now it's got a coat of clear on it so, it look like I got everything covered? Yeah. What can you see from over there? Let's see. Boy, you blinded me. This stuff tack up for a few minutes and uh, throw another coat. Let's see how Justin did over here on the clear. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely helped. I think you missed a, a couple of little spots, real quick. Hopefully it stays so wet looking. All right, who did it? Man, you're raunchy. Guy behind the camera's over here dying because he <laughs> cracked himself. It was Justin. Yeah. Where? <laughs> and yes, that's not hitting the editing floor. That is going out for everybody to hear that you farted all in the shop and they're about to die. There, Justin. I was eating paint. <laughs> that was better than huffing it. Hey. I mean, <laughs> we were huffing it before I turned the fan on. Hey. That is really looking good though. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, 
Oh, okay. We finally decided, go to be careful, you almost get the paint on you. Here's the color. Boss enamel antique white. And I did a little test spray the other day and showed Justin. And I think he liked it. So we don't have a sample of it right now to show you, but it's uh it's gonna look good. So Alright, we're gonna let this dry, we'll put some more on it, we'll be back. Alright guys, so we got everything painted, it's all drying. So while it's drying, we got a sneak peek of it earlier. The brand new Predator 224 uh, non-hemi. I don't think they make it hemi in the 224. Oh, I, I, mean, I don't know much about it. I think they already have like a hemispherical head yeah. factory. I think it's only one head that they put on them. So, let's cut open. Pick it up and you pull the box. Alright, guys, there it is. Brand new 224. Oh, cool. Comes with a oil funnel. What else is in there? I'm assuming the spark plug tool really know much about them they're new new to the market so yep but uh, they're new to the market as some of you guys know of course so that's beautiful I like how the bow cover and everything's black yeah black got the red side cover max performance this one's gonna be stock for a while. We're not gonna do anything to it. At least not now. Don't like how that is, but oh well. So that's gonna be going on our go-kart build. Yeah, we'll have to get in here and yep. loosen that nut like all of them. It's got the one of the differences on these is The gas cap's different. Wow. Holds more gas than the 212. Oh, does it? I think it holds like a quarter gallon more. Hmm. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the block. You can't really see it. All this extra webbing and this webbing in here, the extra boss, it's just a lot of stuff to make it more stout. Powerful. I mean, it's got the same on-off kill switch, oil, low oil thing. So I think this is going to match the go kart pretty good because I think we've talked about painting it red, red and black. So the motor will already be good to go. It'll be nice. So just thought we'd show you guys what we're going to be working with. A lot of the some of the parts do and some of the parts don't interchange with the 212 and the 224. I've seen a couple guys talking about them. I think the carburetors will interchange. Uh, the exhaust is different. You can make a 212 exhaust work, but you got to modify it. Um, I think the bolt holes are further apart on the, on the 224. Yeah. Um, internals, you know, some some parts work, some parts don't. The flywheels are different. You can't put a Performance 212 flywheel on it. So, does this come with a flat top piston? Yes. This comes with a factory flat top piston. Um, 
Like, grab your piston out of the box and leave the tire there. I know one thing I was watching, you see how wide this is on here, on the 224, the connecting rod is so much thicker that the groove is not there. The chamfer, mm -hmm. it's flat going in, so you can't put the 212. And that's, when Justin talks flat top, you can see it's a ridge in there. And that's what you call a dished piston. Ew. And flat tops are just like the sounds flat. So that's actually what Justin's 212 has in it. So, all right, so we're gonna put this back away and I think we're gonna put some more paint on back in a sec. All right guys and gals, we're gonna call it a night. Everything's got three to four coats of paint on it. We got almost two coats of clear or we have two coats of clear on the frame. You can see it's looking good. So we are going to call this one a night. Hopefully you guys can see this tomorrow in Tuesday. And uh, yeah, anything to say, Justin? I'm just happy with the way everything turned out. Uh, it sucks y'all didn't work out, but blue is still in my heart. So Especially with the metal flake. Yeah. So, all right guys and gals, like always, Thanks for watching, liking, subscribe, and leave a comment.